Good day, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing another solo uh, video without Joe Boy Earl Jr. Uh, mainly because we did make some videos over this weekend, and when we when I reviewed them, they looked kind of bad, the visuals, so I had to delete them all. And our schedules don't really coincide during the week, uh, so I figured we put something out, so I'll do a couple of videos uh, solo. And so today, when we talk about uh, Dragon's Dogma, which is a... Uh, I think it's either it's a series on Netflix, and it's based upon a video game. I've never played a video game, so I don't know how true to the source uh, the series is. However, uh, you don't really need a video game it doesn't, to know what's going on. It does a great job of uh, telling the story, of presenting the main character of the series and what's series and what's going on. Uh, in this series, our main character is Ethan. And, and the first episode starts with us getting to know Ethan, and we see uh, what kind of great guy he is. He has a wife who's pregnant. They ever have a family, and they've kind of adopted this this other this son, this little kid who's an orphan. And basically, the dragon comes, kills everybody in this village, even kills him, rips out his heart, and you later find out that by ripping out his heart, the dragon has picked his nemesis. And so we meet a new character named um, Hannon, but I believe her, I believe she's really called Pawn, but he names her Hannon or something like that. Anyway, she brings him back to life and she helps him on his journey. And throughout the series, uh, you see how Ethan has his faults and he's not, sometimes he's not the best of the guy, but he has good intentions. Uh, I guess he does help people. I guess he only has one intention and that is to get revenge for his family and to destroy the dragon uh, that killed his family. Now this show, like each episode, is very, uh, it's varied. Like if you're expecting to have uh, a little happy ending on each every episode, or even at the very end of the story, like everything to be wrapped up in a little bow tie and say happily ever after, well this is probably not the series for you. Uh, each episode, while he is helping uh, strangers and people with their problems they don't always end in the best of terms and they don't and uh, sometimes they end very tragically to be honest and then this and that's kind of how we get at the finale of this of the show uh, when uh, Ethan finally faces down the dragon we get a conclusion it's kind of happy but it's kind of sad too so it doesn't uh, end up being all uh, Roses, we'll say that for sure. Uh, let me adjust the camera here a little bit, and so, yes, so this show has very good animation. It's very impressive. The characters, the scenery, is very well done. Uh, the characters are very well uh, adapted and uh, fleshed out. Uh, especially Ethan, like I said, you'll end up liking him. You like uh, he has his character flaws. Uh, sometimes things he says or his actions you'll disagree with, but for the most part you'll agree with. You'll end up being rooting for him. Uh, Hannah, his sidekick, his angel, uh, she's kind of like a pure character. Uh, she's always kind of there to nudge um, Ethan on the right track, uh, and she's enjoyable too. And overall, this is a it's a great little mini series. I would recommend it. Uh, it has um, a lot of good moral tales, you know, each episode is about some kind of sin and how that sin, how these, how that sin applies to that story and how it can either uh, ruin these people's lives or help them become better people. Uh, so yeah, it's not, just to say, it's not for probably the younger audience, there's a lot of blood and gore in this uh, and there is a scene of attempted rape, I would say. And there is nudity, I went, and um, but if you uh, if you're a dog and you kind of like fantasy and magic, this is a great uh, show for you. Uh, if, will there be a second season? I'm not really sure. It kind of ends where if with the possibility they might make a season two. If there was, I would be open to watching it. It would be interesting to see how they would do it, and uh, because just how this um, just because how this series ended. Or this first season ended at least. Uh, let's see what else. That's about it, really. I would recommend this if you're looking for some this some time to kill or 
looking for a great show to watch, this is definitely one of those you should uh, tune into. Uh, like I said, unless you're somebody who likes everything to end happily and everybody's going to, everybody's cheering and stuff at the end of each episode and stuff, then if you're one of those kind of people, this is probably uh, your cup of tea. But if you're somebody who likes a little bit of both, where the good guys don't always win, but if they do win, there's kind of a consequence to it. Uh, this is definitely the show for you, especially with the finale. You know, the care. You know, if in if any story, the main character has to get what they want. In this case, we'll see. You see that. Um, you know, I guess it's a little bit of spoiler, but Ethan does get what he wants. But there's consequences uh, to him achieving his goal, and that's uh, well, that's what's what's interesting about this story and seeing if they do do another season where they go with that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be making more on Monday. Hopefully, Joe Board Earl Jr. will be back and we can go back and forth and rant like we usually do. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day and have a good and yeah, have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.